two setups, one Epic AI model, WAN 2.1 text to video. I'm gonna show you how you can install it locally on your Ubuntu computer or in the cloud. Let's get to the commands. WAN is made by Alibaba, which is the same company that makes the Quen models. This has two versions, a 14 billion parameter and a 1.3 billion parameter. It produces 480 or 720p video. It can generate five seconds of video and 480 on an RTX 4090 GPU locally. If you need to do 720 video, it's probably better to do it in the cloud with a more powerful GPU. I'll be testing it on an RTX 3080 to see how that goes. Uh, also, I'm gonna try it in the cloud, so you're gonna get both tutorials in this video. You can use multiple GPUs because this actually has a set of commands that allows you to do that. And it's also cool because this has a GitHub project that allows you to just run some commands with pip and with git and you just get it going. Because instead of having to create your own code, they already provide the code for you. Then you can see down here that it has single GPU inference, multiple GPU inference, and it also has a way to offload from CPU to GPU at the same time. Lastly, there's a Gradio project, so you can use a web interface, and I'm also gonna test that out. First, I'm gonna show you how to install this locally on your Ubuntu computer, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in the cloud. If you wanna do it in the cloud, just skip this chapter and go to the next one. The first step is to download from GitHub. Next, change directory to the one that was created, WAN 2.1. Now, pip install minus r requirements, and that's gonna grab all the required packages. This one was like a little bit funny, and there were still some things that I had to do afterwards, but I'll show you. Now you'll need to download the model. Now you'll need to download the model. This will be for the 1.3 billion parameter version. It's gonna take some time depending on how much your internet speed is. Now you can run the Python command to do the inference, and I'm gonna try with CPU and offload to GPU. This is gonna be on my RTX 3080. The recommended is a 4090. This is gonna be a 480p video, so I'm not sure if it'll work. So far it looks like it's trying, so I think I at least have the commands correct but I still could get a CUDA error. I was going to come up with a cat-related prompt for the local version, but they already beat me to that on the Hugging Face page. Now I'm checking out to see if my GPU is actually pushing, and it is. It's using the VRAM. It's using about seven gigabytes out of 10 on the 3080. Hmm. I was gonna run this on two different GPUs, and my 3070's fan is on the fritz right now, and I need to replace it. It's also only offloading to one of my CPU cores at a time, so I'm not sure if that's normal, or if that's a bug, or if it's only programmed to do one at a time. I made a comment on their hugging face just to try to find out. Oh, and it looks like I ran out of CUDA memory, and I ran out of CPU memory, so I think it's not gonna work on mine, but those are the correct commands, so if you have a 4090, it could work. Now I'll tell you how to install this in the cloud, it should cost you about $2.79 an hour. At RunPod, you might want to enable global networking if you want an IP address. I used uh, rsync to push the file over to my private server after I was done. You want to rent an H100 NVL. Something else to note is it took 45 minutes to make a five second video using the H100. You can always stack H100s at RunPod and you can get like three, four, five of them, however many you want up to eight. Click change template next, type in Ubuntu and find Ubuntu latest. Click on the Ubuntu latest template. You can choose to encrypt the volume if you want. I usually do just to be safe. Also click edit template and I'm gonna set 500 gigabytes for the container and 500 gigabytes of space for the volume. I'm also going to enable port 7860 so when I get the Gradio app running, it will be able to run. You'll probably want the IP address enabled on global networking just to make sure that you can get to Gradio. Now you'll deploy the pod, wait for it to spin up. You can click that purple down arrow and it's gonna show you the progress of the pod being built. Now that the pod is complete, click connect. First thing to do is click the start button under web terminal because that's gonna get us into the command line. And you'll also notice in the bottom there, there's the IP address for the public access from outside the internet. It'll be password protected so no one will be able to get in. Once we open the web terminal, we can just start to enter the commands to get set up. First thing is to update the system, so type apt update. Next step is apt upgrade, because that's gonna upgrade all the packages. Once the system is up to date, install sudo. Now you have to install pip. Now install git. Now you'll need to install the python 3.2-venv, which will allow you to set up virtual environments. Once that's finished, you have to install the CUDA toolkit. Now you can add a username and set a password for that user, create a home directory for that user, set the permissions for the home directory so it belongs to that user. Now switch over to that user and change to a bash prompt. Now I'll run the command to download the git program, cd over to the WAN 2.1 directory. Now set up a virtual environment, activate the virtual environment, and you're in. Now I'll need to use pip to install Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio. Now we can use pip to install the requirements. And now export the bin directory to path 
and then source your Bass RC. Now pip install model scope. That's a different way than Hugging Face Client to download the model. Once that's there, use model scope to download the model. We'll get the 14B version for this since we're running the H100 and that's enough power. It'll download the model. Looks like I had an error. There was something kind of weird going on with flash attention. So I had to reinstall it a different way. I will have some instructions for all of this laid out in a link that is in the description. Now it's going to actually try to generate the video. For the cloud version, I came up with a prompt that is going to be a knight trying to fight a dragon. It came out a little bit wrong, but the unexpected part was actually kind of cool. I had told it to make the knight fight a fire breathing dragon, but what ended up happening is it actually made the dragon made of fire. It wasn't a fire breathing dragon, it was a fire dragon. And it starts off as this ball of fire, which slowly turns into a dragon made of fire. Totally unintended, but still looks cool. You can see though, we're at the cutting edge of open source AI generated video. Something I noticed in retrospect is if you go back and look at that dragon video, if you look at the inlay of the shield that the knight has, there's actually a design in the inlay and I didn't even notice that. Run this on Gradio, you have to CD into the Gradio directory and then run a Python command. And I'm gonna have that command inside of the document that's in the description that has all the instructions. Now go back to your run pod page and click on HTTP service. That's gonna load up the Gradio app and then you can enter your prompt and start to do some settings. In this case, I'll keep the resolution at 720 by 1280 because that's going to make a, a vertical video like a phone video and then I'm going to change the number of diffusion steps up to 80. You can go higher than that and get better video quality. It'll just take longer to make the video. Then after that, you can click on the button down at the bottom that says generate video. Here's a vertical 720 by 1280 video to do a quick motion test where we just see a ball bouncing on some grass. The next test is a swirling galaxy within an ocean and it's supposed to be like an abstract test and it's supposed to have a fish in the middle, but it did not have the glowing fish in the middle. It just kind of had a swirl in the middle of the swirl. The next test is to try a more complex scene with a lot of people. It's supposed to be an ancient Rome at a marketplace. The prompt also included a donkey pulling a cart, which you can see towards the middle, slightly off to the left. The people in the test are not that detailed, but I bet if the steps were turned up a lot, they would be. This video of an astronaut floating in space, I think came out better than the other ones. This is my favorite of the ones that were generated. Here's another vertical video that shows a clock falling over on a desert. Now the prompt was for the clock to melt into the desert, but it skipped melting and it seemed to just kind of have the clock flip. I wonder if that's a matter of settings. I'm not really sure. I didn't really have the time to cover the prompt extension because you can actually connect a Quen language model to this and then use that as an extension to rewrite your prompt to make it better. I think that's kind of cool. You can also take whatever prompt you make and then drop that into another LLM and have that rewrite your prompt. That's what I did at one point for some other tests that I did. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you found some value in this video, please click the like button. Also, you can follow me on X for exclusive content and where I expand the conversation out from here. If you're not subscribed and you want to see me make open source AI tutorials and test open source language models, please click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I make a new video, hit the notification bell. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and be good to each other.